Hello and welcome back to Gray's Gardening. My name is Gray. I'm an amateur gardener. We're all amateur gardeners. So quick video today. I came down to the plot to actually just secure everything ready. Check on it. There's, there's a storm about to hit the UK uh, into tonight and into tomorrow. It's called Storm Isha or Aisha, bringing gusts of up to 80 kilometers an hour winds. Um, and no doubt there'll be a ton more rain as well. So I thought to get down, check on things. Uh, my actual plan was I was going to insulate the greenhouse and i bought myself a load of bubble wrap however it's not big enough so that will have to stay on hold and i shall do that maybe next weekend when i get some uh, some some better shaped or better sized uh, bubble wrap uh, that might be next weekend i probably should have insulated this greenhouse by now maybe i should have done it at the start of december because uh, we have had a lot of snow and ice uh, a lot even just this week just gone um but January, February, even March are pretty cold months in the UK. So I can still get this insulated. I'll show you how I do it. Um, and, and yeah, that'll be fine until, until, the, until the weather warms up a little bit. So I thought instead of that, and probably need to do this first anyway, I'm going to prune, winter prune the grapevine so that we get the maximum harvest, the maximum yield from our grapes next summer. Uh, first of all, I'll give you a bit of background to this grapevine. So hopefully you can see my grapevine. It's actually the Lakemont variety, which is a green seedless grape. And I've planted this outside. Hopefully you can see through the glass. The grapevine itself comes up here and comes through this hole here. This hole in the, in the glass. This hole in the glass here. And then grows up. And then what I've done is I've trained it all the way around the greenhouse. So this has been in for about five, six years now. If you follow this around, it is all one grapevine. And I've trained it up and over, meaning that I get bunches of grapes basically all coming off in front of me. Uh, if I just turn this around, try not to do it too quickly. Um, but there you go, it goes off that way. And we've got the vine going all the way around the top up around the back, funny shape there, here, and then across the top. And it basically just goes across every single one of these uprights all the way along. Okay, so I've been training it this way for a number of years. That's the main structure. You can see it's very woody. And at this time of year, it is completely dormant. The sap hasn't yet started to rise. So now is the time to start pruning it. You can see the buds. Here's the buds. Each individual bud there will provide a new shoot and that will have a grapevine, uh, a bunch of grapes on it. And you can see this going along. You do want to kind of make sure that they're spaced out as much as possible. And this is actually where one side meets the other. Uh, so I just need to go around and trim all this. As I say, I did lots of trimming and pruning during the summer, so it's not as bad as it has been in previous years. So what you want to do is make sure you get yourself some nice clean sharp secateurs then you follow your main rod so that one goes up and over and down the other side but this shoot here this is last year's growth and i don't want him going that way so you follow it back there's the bud there Maybe you can see that and then some people like to do it to two buds i like to take them right back to one so literally get your get your secateurs in there and snip that off so out of this little spur here will be the new um the new bunch of grapes and it is literally about going around the whole vine just trimming off uh the excess uh side shoots that you don't want to make sure it's all tidied up nicely for the coming summer uh so here we've got one we can just take that off like so I'll take that to see that the bud is in there so i'll just take that off here and these this is last year's growth it's going up and over and all of these here will provide a new bunch of grapes next year so you want to take off some of the old little little bits of leaves and things that have died off and just go around looking everywhere to see is that where you want your structure to be so i've got this one here which is going to get trained up over the roof of the greenhouse but I don't like this one. So I'm going to trim him off there, but the new bunch of grapes will come out of here. 
and that is basically all you do going around taking off anything that you don't want now you might have spotted this here this comes from well this one actually comes from this side goes down and along it's because this old uh trunk of the vine doesn't have well hasn't pro produced any grapes now for a while don't know why it doesn't do any along this whole row so i've got this one as almost a secondary vine intertwining along and that one will get a bunch of grapes off every single one of these buds so i've got this side coming right along and then you can just and then just tuck it up wherever you want it so same again there as you can see these are multiples and they've got different uh lots of little buds here i've already trimmed them off and then that's where the new grape new bunch of grapes will grow from you can probably hear that wind starting to get up now so i've done most of this already but i just wanted to show you what i've done and that is now the basic structure it follows it all the way where i want it and then in the summer months as i say that will start to really burst into life normally in the uk the sap starts rising in around about march time and you can see because each one of these buds will all just start really swelling up going like a greeny color and you know it's about to burst into life okay so it did say this was going to be a quick video the wind for this storm aisha is really starting to pick up now so i'm probably best getting getting home um you can you do get obviously flailing logs and trees and branches and stuff down here so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get home and warmed up uh, but just before i do i've got a little um little test for you so i've got some stones in my hand and i want you to put down in the comments what this comment saying is here we go lots of stones please write down what that comment saying is for me so if you like this kind of content if you've enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up leave me some comments and i'll see you on the next one next one will be insulating the greenhouse thanks everyone take care see you on the next video bye now